Cheapskates. We know them. We love them. We talk about them. Bam. I like to use hair over dental floss. Bam. Ma'am. Um. Now, is this creative? Of course it is. And I give her props for even thinking of some shit like this. My son Alex is gonna be moving out soon, so now we're really tightening the purse strings. My mom wants to save money for me for college. I have to grab a measuring cup and a cup I'm gonna pour it in because I have to make sure it's only half a cup full. What the fuck? That, that gets kind of annoying. What else is annoying? Focus. What else is annoying is the way that you grab your cup. I don't like it. Every Monday, I go in, I get my latte, then I bring it home. To save money, I usually buy one large cup, and then I ration it out over the days. By rationing out the latte over three days, I'm able to enjoy the latte for a third of the cost. The lipstick marks indicate how many times that I've had to reheat this cup of coffee. Not maybe the third. Dude, that cup is fucked. Let's just talk about it. That cup, fucked up. Third day, seems like you get this little, this film on top that you gotta take off. That part's disgusting, but there's good stuff underneath that. Hold on. Hold on. <coughs> I just gagged at that. Little, this film on top that you gotta take off. That part's disgusting, but there's good- No fucking shit! Oh my, I am yelling, it is 10.30 at night. Everyone's asleep. There's a film of reused lip gloss and spit collecting in your cup so on the third or the fourth day of you using this cup drinking consuming the contents of this cup you have to you can grab it that's the thing like coffee's a liquid let's this you can't grab coffee when you when you put in the liquid form like go go to starbucks like hey let me get a frappuccino i mean you know let me get a fucking macchiato i promise you will not be able to dig your hands in there and grab it it's just gonna fall out but the fact that you put your hand in there and nothing falls out leads me to believe that you're fucked up in the head i keep my chewed pieces of gum in the freezer because it helps preserve the flavor what i usually chew one piece every three days see i start with a sit piece on sunday ride that out till about tuesday then we get to wednesday write it out it's not a it's, it's, it's not a payment. It's not a bill. Like, oh, you know, I can't pay it right now. Can I have till Wednesday? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Write it out. That's when I treat myself with a whole new piece of gum. With this You're going to treat yourself to a new piece of gum? A whole pack is like a dollar, lady. I understand... Actually, I don't understand anything in this, this system. I, I refuse to try that because I don't even like gum after like two hours, much less like three days. You don't need to do that much to save money. Another thing, kind of hate this kid's voice. Now, it's not like a, you know, it's not like a, an opinion from somebody who's not a homosexual. It's just I really don't like his voice so what food can be a distraction to other things that we need to get done i like that crap it's good alex and i will eat the buffet every day once a day i grew up going to buffets a lot and she would really make sure i had a lot to eat and have that last us we eat one time a day and we just pile it in her wigs suck last us ladies we eat who one time a day and we just pop ladies who are out there who are like connoisseurs and like like the wig looks like shit and what the fuck is the one in the the red one in the back it looks like a mullet if you fucked it up you know i'm gonna miss you you know i'm gonna miss you a lot you're the light of my life and 
wanted to talk to you about something now. Uh... She brought the fucking film cup. <laughs> she brought the film cup. What the hell? Room. I want to sublet your room. But where am I going to stay when I come back up? A nice, clean, quiet motel. How about the shave lounge? With my son moving out, I want to take advantage of the empty nest. I don't feel good about my mom renting my room, but that's what she wants. I'll have to let her do it. No, you don't, dude. No, you don't. Your mom's fucking crazy. There's a different, there's a, I don't want to say a fine line, but there is a difference between trying to save money, trying to, you know, not spend as much. You know, you got to ration your dough. Cause you ain't got much, I get it, but your mama's fucking crazy, dog. Trying to create boundaries so that we can section off the space between tenant and myself. Oh my gosh. What the fuck, lady? <clears throat> Hi, you're here for the sublet? Yes. Yes, come on in, come on in. Okay. Right this way. You don't want to look at her, lady. What is... Is this going to always be here? That's that's a divider. I feel bad for the tenant who has to live with her because <laughs> she's just such a cheapskate and she's such a pain in the butt sometimes. The other things on the other side of the sheet are not included unless you pay for them. So the washer and dryer, they're on the other side of the sheet. I think any new tenant's going to be pretty surprised. How big is this place? That's about 900, 950 square feet. OK. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Try, do you give it a test drive. Yeah, this is a nice bed. Mm -hmm. We do have a fridge here for you. We have a hot plate. So wait, there's no kitchen? No, there is. Oh, OK. So then why is that in here? Well, the, the, the fridge and the stove, they're, they're turned off. What you're paying for here is the common area, the bedroom, and the bathroom. Well, this is kind of like an. I got so invested, I stopped making comments. I'm sorry. <laughs> but. No, nah. no, I no, because nobody, nobody wants to move into a place and they can't use the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, like really, the kitchen is one of the most important pieces of a fucking apartment. Living room and kitchen. Inconvenience for me. I, it's very possible that some of the new tenants will back out the minute that she starts going over the rules. She told me there was a kitchen and I had to pay more for a kitchen, which, who does that? When I first saw the sheet, I thought it was very trashy. I don't want to see that sheet there when I walk home every day. I'm getting some mixed emotions, mixed reviews on the place. Mixed emotions? Everyone is showing you how fucked up it is. Everyone's showing you that it's a definite no. Bit. Yeah, your mom's fucking crazy, dude. I'm sorry. Like, once again, <clears throat> it's okay. You want to save money. You don't want to spend as much. You know, you ain't got that much. You know, I got it like, hey, can't really do this this week. This week. But saving your gum in the freezer and then treating yourself to one piece a week. But everybody has their ways of living life. Everybody has their ways of how they get through life. That's just how she gets through hers. And if it makes you happy... She's not bothering anybody, so it's fine. You know, she's not bothering anybody. It's just bizarre. But that's the end of this video. Go ahead, give the video a like. Go ahead, uh, subscribe. Everything you need to know about my Patreon, I am on Patreon. There is VIP content, content that nobody else will see. So if you guys like these fucking videos, you like uh, podcasts, music, all this, these videos, vlogs, all that extra content will be there. Just go to the link below, and you'll have all the information that you need. I'm out.